Hey guys, welcome back. So here we are in the dashboard and uh, the main purpose of this video is to go over how to go about publishing content. So we're here in the dashboard. As you can see, publishing content is right here in the middle of the page basically. And if you were to actually go to the condensed version of the dashboard to the left hand side, you could actually do the same thing over here by clicking on uh, what it is that you're trying to uh, go about doing. But in this case, let's just go ahead and publish a property. So we have a property that we want to sell. We're gonna go through the motions of uh, doing this step by step here. So of course we want to publish this, yes. You would leave it as no if you weren't quite ready to publish it. Uh, this property is not published on the MLS as any properties going on to Real Estate Deals Direct should be exclusive non-MLS deals. So let's go ahead and um, give this a title here. Okay, we have a bungalow in Midtown. And this property is for sale. Let's say this is located in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm not gonna be specific here, but you can actually enter in the property address and it will populate. The property details, let's go ahead and enter in a price. Let's make it 75,000. This is a single family. Of course, in your case, it's gonna be whatever type of property, um, you know, specification that you need. Construction type, let's say it's concrete block. Three bedrooms, one and a half bath, let's say 1,200 square feet. Okay, in the year it was built, let's just make something up here. And if you had an external link, um, say something like Google Drive, you could drop your Google Drive link in here. And you can go ahead and enter in a description for your listing. And of course, you want to put in any information related to the property, the condition. Actually, I'm going to switch this up. All right, you can kind of get the point here. But you can even kind of customize the text. You can add in uh, bullet points if you would like to, numbers, whatever, whatever works for you. But let's go ahead and save this. And you can upload an image. So you will go ahead and choose image. Let's see if we got something right here. Uh, let's just use this for example. Okay. Alright, then we're going to... You can actually comment on the photos if you like, but we're not going to do that right now. Let's save the changes. And you can actually upload multiple photos at one time. I'm just doing one for the sake of this video. Let's save our changes. Okay, change set and save. You can also change the photo display order if you have multiple photos. All right, so we are done here with the listing. Let's go back. And this is basically what it looks like. Um, of course, this would be a home and um, you would actually add in all your information here. Pretty cool, huh? So let's go ahead and go back to the dashboard. If you wanted to actually create an event, similar, very similar steps here. You would go in, 
course you want to publish it or maybe you don't you want to wait until it gets closer to the event well you would go ahead and just fill out the form put in the location enter the description and save your changes now if you actually wanted to add a community article you would come here determine whether or not you want to publish it or not give the article a title grab a category that it's about and go ahead and enter in any tags you want to tag it to keywords and go ahead and just enter in the information um, that you would like to see in the article and save your changes so if you wanted to check out your event or your article that you posted you would go into community and hit events and uh, also click on articles with jobs you want it you also have features to post any jobs or items that you are searching for this is it for now guys uh we're going to try to keep these brief so that we can kind of break up the information feel free to reach out to us and support if you have any questions and uh, stay tuned for the next video